guys so are you ready to draw with me today so today I will be drawing you a, a garden gnome so let's get started I really hope you like it and it's gonna be a colorful one so I really really hope you like it and uh, it will be easy to draw as well um, and um, I will be using color pencils for this drawing as well as always and uh, if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon so that you get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day and along the way while I draw I also give you some fun facts about what I draw as well so you can learn something while we draw and if you have any requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below and I will draw that for you for next time in my upcoming videos So on the drawing now, we're going to start off with the face of the garden gnome and then we're going to build everything from there, the hat and the rest of the body. So to get the fun facts today, I'm reading housebeautiful.com. It has some interesting facts about garden gnomes that I would like to share with you. And you can always go to the website and check it yourself as well because it has some interesting pictures of garden gnomes. Um, and there are so many different kinds so it's really up to you which if you're drawing this and if you want to draw a really cool garden gnome you can just uh, check out garden gnomes and check all the pictures and everything because there are so many different kinds and you can even come up with it on your own um, so to give you some fun facts there are they are way older than you think though they seem like uh, fun 50s and 60s um, men mostly the garden gnomes came into being in germany in 1872 they were named uh, i hope i will say this right uh, garden zuage garden dwarfs a word that sounds exactly like a sneeze uh, so that's what it says on the website and also um, they are still big in Germany and there's an estimated 25 million gnomes in yards across the country and um, in World War II um, the production of gnomes came to a halt uh, in the United States um, uh, because it was um, originated it originated in Germany but now they are everywhere here um, and United States as well um, and apparently they are banned from one of the world's most famous garden shows um, the Chelsea flower show frowns upon the figurines forbidding them from appearing in designs except in 2013 to honor an anniversary of the gnome interesting um, and you know this from both the 2001 movie M Emily and the Travelocity ad campaign it involves taking a gnome from neighbor's yard and periodically sending photos of the gnome on its travels gnomes have even made it to the South Pole there's, uh, there doesn't seem to be a clear reason to do this other than the eternal question of why not. That's directly from the website. So there are sanctuary for statues in England. There's a picture of, the, uh, of this and it looks very interesting. So the Gnome Reserve, a garden featuring 2,000 various gnomes, remain a popular tourist attraction in North Devon. So there you go, some fun interesting facts about garden gnomes. And so you can see that going to the drawing now, uh, the gnome is trying to take shape. So you can see that I already drew the face. 
I'm just drawing in the body part now so I'm gonna draw a coat and uh, some trousers and shoes and garden gnome is holding a stick but really it's up to you how you want to draw it you can draw like a cape or something if you want to um, and uh, different colors whatever you can really um, make it look and uh, change it around because they come in so many different shapes and sizes and um, you can really have fun with it and add to the background as well if you want to so um, if you have any garden gnomes on your garden right now and if you want to share a picture or something with me connect with me through my facebook or my instagram accounts all the information is in the description box below for you if you want to connect with me and if you want to send me a drawing that you drew that you would like for me to feature on my next upcoming video so you can send that to me as well and i will feature it in my upcoming videos i love getting your drawings and seeing your interpretation of what i draw i love seeing those so you can always send me your drawings as well and um, if you have any other requests like i said before let me know in the comments below i would love to draw what you want me to draw and um, i it's fun to see your comments as well so um, let me know and comment below and let me know what you think and if you have any interesting facts about garden gnomes that you would like to share you can um, comment below and let me know as well So we are almost done with the drawing part, just have to add in the trousers and the, uh, the shoes and I will show you how I colored it as well. I just added a background as well. So I will show you the full color drawing at the end of this video so you can have a good look at the full color drawing if you want to color it the same way and add the background the same way if you want you can add like mushrooms that are bigger than the garden gnome and maybe um, other things like um, like a flower bed or a garden in the background with a house you can really add to it and make it fun and you can add other garden gnomes as well uh, laying around in the in a yard if you want to um, you can really have fun with these and uh, you can make it your own like I said before as well so it's really up to you so now that um, I showed you how to draw this I'm going to show you how to color it as well um, I'll show you quickly how I added in all the colors and then I will show you how the full color drawing looks like <music> So I didn't spend a lot of time making sure I add in a lot of color to this. It's um, like um, I added in different kinds of colors, but I didn't really um, like blend in colors or anything, just added in colors um, just to make it fun and cartoon looking. But if you want it to look realistic, you can always like build into it, add little by little, check uh, and add more colors. and. Um, check for like the way the light hits the object and then uh, determine how uh, you want to spread the colors as well so it really is up to you how detailed you want to color it uh, I just wanted it to look like a um, illustration like a cartoon look so I didn't concentrate on the colors that much I just wanted it to look colorful and fun so uh, I hope you enjoy the coloring part as well, but it really is up to you. So uh, I hope you like the fun facts that I gave you about garden gnomes and let me know if you have any uh, garden gnomes in your garden 
and um, if you are a collector let me know so this is the full color drawing of the garden gnome I added in a little bit of grass at the background to make it a little more colorful so it really is up to you and I hope you like it and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me and if you would like to buy products with this on don't forget to check out my red bubble shop link in the description box below for products I have so many to choose from so check it out and now I'm gonna put some next videos for you to check out next I really hope you like those as well and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel I bring a video every single day so I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow bye